now that Yom Kippur has passed, Jewish people in our borough are preparing for another holiday. And as part of the tradition, they're getting their hammers ready. News 12 Brooklyn's Crystal Walker has the story from Park Slope. We're building a sukkah today in preparation for the holiday of Sukkot. You may notice these sukkahs popping up all around Brooklyn. The temporary structures are part of the Jewish harvest holiday of Sukkot that follows Yom Kippur. Now on Sukkot, we build these temporary dwellings called a sukkah. And the idea is to connect ourselves with the fragility of life and with the natural world. And it's, it's up for seven days, and in those seven days, we eat our meals in them, we dwell in them, we, many people sleep in them, and it is to connect us with the universe that we're a part of, with God, and with each other. This sukkah being built outside Congregation Beth Elohim in Park Slope was designed by architect Susan Dobin to include a lot of greenery. Our roof will have uh, living material or previously living branches. We're going to use crab apple branches and one of our walls internally will be clad in living material as well. And so that also reminds us of our connection to the natural world. Even in a busy city where we can feel disconnected from nature, the sukkah is a place to remi remind us that we're actually part of the earth and an ecosystem that we have a, you know, we have a symbiotic relationship with. Now once complete, the sukkah will remain here through October 7th and the rabbi of the synagogue is inviting everyone to come by and check it out. In Park Slope, I'm Crystal Walker, News 12, Brooklyn.